Welcome to another episode of Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey. This is, of course, your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. I got my man Bo in the building. Oh, Shay. Got my man Angry Principal in the building. How you doing? And we got a uh, special guest, man, Soul Deacon in the building. <laughs> what up, though, with you, man? All right. All right, so we in here. Uh, this is going to be our last show before the uh, for the end of the season or the end of the year, rather. Uh, we had another show, but uh, had a computer glitch, and unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see it. Uh, but it was a dope show, though. It was the one we actually did when we did the, uh, the three taste tests between uh, three different Maker's Marks, and uh, the footage was corrupted after my shit crashed. So I'm mad about that, but we have fun making it. You, just, you guys just don't get to see it. But uh, <laughs> so now we're going to end out the year with this, though. So for some people who may be kind of like me, who is just a, a recent whiskey convert, you know, maybe you was drinking other things before now, and you don't really think that whiskey is in your budget. We have a show today to give you some options for twenty dollars and less. All right. So um, I'm excited about this, man. I and a couple of these uh, I've actually had before. Uh, one I haven't, so we're gonna we're gonna try something new. Uh, so what we have today uh, is got Jim Beam, all right, which is uh, on the the first one. Uh, then we got Four Roses. And then we got Evan Williams, all right? So we'll go through those. I'm going to start first. Of course, uh, I'm the uh, the whiskey convert, and my choice uh, was Jim Beam. Okay. Now, I know. Let me chime in real quick. Mm-hmm. The Uncle Nearest ain't, under, ain't 25 and under. Oh, it's, yeah. I just want to let y'all know that. I'm sorry. It's not yeah, 25 I, and under. I okay? forgot about that. But again, as always, <laughs> man, shout out to Uncle Nearest. Who are not our sponsors, uh, but we just enjoy that shit. <laughs> All right, so uh, actually, I guess now you can go ahead and move them out the way. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Nears, though. But um, yeah, so we're gonna start with the uh, the Jim Beam. Now, um, I went to uh, I went to go look for some things to uh, to figure out, you know, what I wanted. I had actually heard of the Evan Williams, but I never had it. Um, it was a, something else I seen. It was R and R. I think I mentioned that before we got on camera. Uh, I can't remember what R and R means, like rare and something. Uh, probably like rare and ready, I guess. <laughs> but I did. I chose it against that one, and I went to an old trusty. So Jim Beam. I'm gonna tell you why I chose that. First of all, uh, it was nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, so it's twenty dollars for a fifth. Uh, again, it's, it's going to be real economical for you. Uh, I went with the Jim Beam because I actually had some experience with Jim Beam like early on before I even started really drinking whiskey. Uh, it was kind of by accident. So I had a homie who was uh, who was drink, drinking Jim Beam, and I, I laughed at it because you know at the time I was drinking cognac, so I, I frowned upon people drinking twenty dollars whiskey. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cognac. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was drinking that. But I had some of this, and it was a, uh, it was, it was fairly decent. Like for, it was, a, it was, a, it was a change up because I was so used to drinking cognac, so it was definitely something different. It wasn't too harsh. Uh, although I will say this though, just from my my memory, because I haven't had the the regular Jim Beam in a, in a while, um, I don't remember. I don't remember it being like really like. I don't really remember it tasting good. Like I remember it was kind of smooth because like the taste just went away. But I don't really remember the notes or anything. So this is kind of. Kind of be like a, uh, you know, it's going to be like the first time all over again for me. So that was my choice, man. Um, I think we'll probably maybe take a shot out of all of them at the end or something. Uh, but right now, so that was my choice, man. So Jim Beam, $19.99. Only 20 bucks, man. Gets you to, you know, where you need to go. Again, that's my that's my pick, man, a whiskey convert. Now we're going to move over to my man, Bo, who is the whiskey schnob. Yeah. And we're going uh, to see what he got. I'm going to try to keep mine short because I'm trying to crack these bottles, right? So <laughs> He said try to get to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got the uh, yellow label, uh, Four Roses, even though the label ain't yellow. Um, but that's what it's called, right? Uh, I picked it up. I bought my crib about $19.99. Um, you, you know the thing I like about Four Roses? It's like uh, it's not so much my everyday sipper, right? But, you know, from time to time, if I don't want to, you know, Buffalo Trace, I can pick up the Four Roses and put on some rocks. Or, maybe a nice little old-fashioned, something like that. Mm-hmm. Typically, if I'm going to mix some bourbon in with something, I'll probably use Four Roses. Sometimes I might use Buffalo Trace. Okay. You know, but if I'm making an old-fashioned or, you know, uh, uh, Arnold Palmer or something like that, yeah, I'll use Four Roses. Okay. I figured, dude. Angry Principal, man, what you uh, what did you come up in here with? Uh, I brought the uh, Evan Williams Black Label. Mm-hmm. Um Mainly because I use it for mixing. Yeah. If I like, like you said, doing the mm-hmm. old fashioned or something like that, that's what I'm using the Evan Williams for. Uh, Jim Beam's also good for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Four Roses, I have not sipped it as much. I have tasted it, but it's not been my go-to. So I'm interested to see uh, how it compares to the other two. So I, I, I see you bought a bottle of it too. I brought a bottle of it all. What you find yours for though? 
I got mine for all twenty three, almost twenty four dollars. Okay, right. and which is a trip because that means we're one county over from each other, <laughs> but. I'm paying four or five dollars more than Thanks. you are for yeah. the same bottle. That's crazy, right? Of, yeah, it definitely uh, happens. Four roses, so it definitely it's happens. Amazing how you get that markup in certain places. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's another thing too. Just uh, real quick, this is a side note. Uh, the place that I go to, uh, like I won't put them on blast because, like, you know, they're cool. But uh, the uh, seventeen ninety two is normally twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, his place is thirty four ninety nine. <laughs> uh, the uncle nearest uh, is normally uh, forty nine ninety nine. But over there, it was fifty four ninety nine. So it was like it was a five dollar thing over there. So I think it is is obviously is up to the discretion of, of the the store owner. Like you don't have to sell it for uh, state minimum or whatever. So they make it a little five dollars. It's cool. I'm not mad about it. But it is true. You go to certain places and they charge you different. I think that's the that's the one thing about uh, about whiskeys and bourbons though, is that uh, at least that I noticed. I found it in the neighborhood, like in the 48205 or in the inner city, they don't sell a lot of it. So a lot of the shit they selling for cheap because like they can't get rid of it anyway. So I, I've actually found some less expensive uh, whiskeys inside the city. The only thing is because they don't sell it, it's not a lot of variety. So, you know. Well, because Four Roses is not something I normally buy, mm -hmm. it wasn't sure on the price. Yeah. But I am mad because now I know that my man is overcharging. <laughs> and this wasn't my normal spot that I go to. to oh, okay. Oh, there you okay. go. So yeah. now I know so I, now I won't pissed. be going back. He, won't he, be lost, going there. he lost a customer. <laughs> right. It's that easy. It's that fast. Exactly. I definitely dig that, man. And hey, so look, um, have so have y'all had all of these? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I haven't had Evan Williams, so I ain't going to lie to you. I want to kind of uh, bust that open and see what that uh, see what that tastes like. So, uh, Angry Principal is, is your bottle, so I'll let you do the, do the honors on that. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and spark up my stogie. Shout out to Romeo and Juliet, who's also not uh, our sponsor. But Pause for the pop. No pop. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, the Evan, that, so the know. Evan Williams has a screw off, so hey, you know. I'm so used to the corks. That's what happens when we do the twenty and under show, right? There you go. All right. I'm so used to damn cork that I have. Hey, because uh, I'm looking like embarrassed the hell out of myself. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. I just want to see what it tastes like. Nah, before I before I like the stoke it, let me get a taste of it though. No, that's this too is funny, my man. Evan <laughs> so that's your go-to. So, so real quick, yeah, I know, I know you didn't. Uh, you are you're a guest on the show though, so I know you mentioned Evan Williams first and shit. Like, is it is it one that you would say that that you would go to so under twenty, or or is it that? It's my go-to because I went to the distillery. That was the first uh, oh, right. bourbon I've ever had. Oh, so this was your turnout? Yeah. <laughs> went to Louisville and yeah. I went to that place. That's hold on, wait a minute, yeah. Bo, you can't let him slide. You can't let us out. Louisville? You can't. Louisville? <laughs> yeah, you can't Louisville? <laughs> Only because I got corrected so much. Because I used to say Louisville all the time. Because I go to Louisville Louisville a lot, right? Uh -huh. And I was always Louisville, Louisville. Yeah. And they say, hey, man, it's Louisville. And I was like, Louisville. And they were like, no, Louisville. Just say Lou and just say Ville. Louisville. Really? That's what they told yeah. me. I've yeah. never heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah now, so we, we went down there uh, over the summer. And, like, I couldn't stop saying Louisville. <laughs> and, like, he just kept correcting me the whole time. I think I said it one time. I was like, Louisville. He's like, yeah. I'm like, no. It sounds so weird. It do sound weird. It sounds like I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. It's like I got to put too much effort Louisville. into it. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it. All right. You would just uh, say Louisville. Louisville. <laughs> 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 Shit, you better be glad I don't say Louisville. Right. Hey, which, shout out, though, to, to Match Cigar Bar, which is not in Louisville. was actually in Jefferson, uh, uh, Jeffersonville, Indiana, which is right across the river. Uh -huh. That's where we went. We went with their, you know, uh, they had the outdoor patio. Remember that? Facts. That's yeah. where we went. Yeah. Shout out to Match Cigar Bar, man. Oh, yeah, if that you didn't nice. catch yourself down in the area, go check them out. They're good, they're good people down there that was nice all right so this is a uh, I know everybody here had this and not me but um this is not what I expected though it does it does have a, a little bit of a hold on let me see serious vanilla on the nose mm -hmm. definitely definitely I remember that about it's it. sweeter than I thought and it don't what I was expecting I was expecting it to have a spicy ending like a, a spicy finish but it don't that's just it. Like it's vanilla. Vanilla for sure. <laughs> right? yeah. Maybe I taste maybe a little bit of cocoa and and, and a bit of uh, some, some red fruits. Yeah. I, can't yeah. Tell what yep. it is. I think it's I think it's maybe cherry, maybe apple. See, it's a this bit is, of a cherry hint to it. This is a tough thing. I know the, the whiskey snob and the, and the uh, proof hunter always get me on this. 
it is very hard for me to decipher between uh, vanilla and cocoa. Like a lot of vanilla and cocoa taste the same to me. Think about I don't know the way I look so at like, it. So like when when y'all say like it's got both, it's like it's hard for me to tell the difference. The way I look at it, so like vanilla, I think back to the day you know I was, I was a little fella. Remember when your mom's was making like sweet potato pie and she got the vanilla extract. Vanilla extract, extract yeah. And I remember smelling like that's what I think that's about when I think vanilla. Okay. Yeah, I cocoa did. and just oh, you know, like chocolate. cocoa. Yeah, yeah. Like cocoa. chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. But some serious fruit on this though. Yeah, I, I mean for I me, the other twenty it. bucks, it's like it's decent. It's a good mixture. Yeah, it's, it's definitely. That. I don't know if I ever, ever drink it straight. You know, I, went, I don't know if I ever drink it neat. You know, or, or on the rocks for that matter. But definitely a good mixture. If I'm not just, gonna. If it's I'm, just a rough week. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah, a rough week now. <laughs> if it's a rough week, I'm taking a shot before I go into the office. <laughs> if I just if I just pay, just pay the car note and the mortgage and the insurance <laughs> and the cell phone, yeah, it might be an Evan Williams week for me. You know. Yeah, right. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we were just discussing, like, the difference between vanilla notes and cocoa notes. I think, again, I kind of I kind of mix those two sometimes just because, like, that that kind of any kind of sweetness that's not, like, candy or fruit, I always assume is either vanilla or cocoa. And sometimes it's hard for me to tell the difference. This is actually a lot better than I thought, um, only because I think I, my palate was ready for a Jim Beam, and it's definitely not Jim Beam. You trying to see what the mixture is with the smoke? Yeah, I, now I'm smoking a punch. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, a rare Corojo. Um, so it's matching pretty well. It's yeah. bringing the okay. sweetness. The out. offset. Yeah. There's a lot of sweetness now on my cigar that I didn't have before. Yeah. After, when, before I drank the mm-hmm. uh, Evan Williams, so I'm getting the sweetness off of my cigar that I didn't get before. Okay, uh, that's that's interesting to me. I, okay. Any of y'all tasting the uh, the cask off of there that? The barrels, you taste that, you get in there smoking. I didn't really. Right, so any I, of these, you're going to get your barrel notes, which is your vanilla, your cherry, and all that stuff. You're going to get your normal stuff. But it's, for me, it's what's it, what's it doing to my cigar that's interesting mm-hmm. to me. I'm sorry. No, no, you good. I don't get no smokiness out of it, though. I was, yeah, I was about to say, I don't really yeah, don't taste the, no. like, the charred barrel taste. Like, yeah, I can definitely, like, like, like Angry Principal said, the barrel notes are there. Yeah. But I don't taste like that char. Now, you know, yeah, that char kind of barrel taste burgers. is what I was expecting to finish with, and it didn't. It didn't happen because that's what that's basically what happened with uh and with uh, uh the shit we was just drinking uh, Buffalo, Buffalo Trace. Trace. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's definitely what happened with Buffalo Trace, and that, honestly, the way it came through at first, I thought that's how it was going to end, but it didn't. So I, I like it though. I like it. Um, I guess if we if we go make a decision right now, let's just uh let's just go ahead and make a decision on that now. Um, definitely, this is a, a bottle that's uh, less than twenty dollars. Um, I'm not certain though if I would if I would purchase it like on my own like I don't know if I would only because I haven't I guess I gotta say it like this I haven't had the perfect old fashioned yet so like I haven't had the perfect mix yet I don't know if that exists so <laughs> <laughs> it does so, so I don't know it definitely does. where'd you have it at it sound like you had it at home right <laughs> I was gonna say it sound like you had it at home it's perfect for you then right it's perfect. perfect for you there right. you go well yeah I think I think once I had a perfect uh, mixture. Uh, for uh, uh, you know, for for that, I think I respect it more. But like I'm so, I didn't got so hip. Thanks to y'all, I didn't got so hip to just drinking it like you know neat. That I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I have it, I have it just to add to my collection. Probably wouldn't be something I would drink on a you know on a normal basis. You know, it's interesting you say that about the punch though, right? Because uh, just for y'all folks at home, I'm smoking a smoking a Cohiba. I don't know if y'all can see that I'm smoking a little Cohiba here. But uh, I'll show them again in that camera. <laughs> and this camera? Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Y'all yeah. see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so Cubans are typically a little stronger anyway, just because of the soil that, that that you know is grown in. But I can I can taste like a little. I can taste the sweetness coming off it a little bit. Because you know, just the, a bit. Because yeah, that. because of the yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I've it's... never really tasted that before with a Cuban. To tell you the truth, you That's know what I mean? Surprising. So that means that surprised me about this. this... That's yeah, that I mean it's some it's some heavy sugar in this motherfucker. Yeah. Every Wednesday, man, obviously, <laughs> yeah. If it come off in this cigar, definitely, man. All right, so look, we go uh we gonna keep it moving, man. I'm gonna let y'all uh, finish y'all glass because we gotta get to another shot. I like it. It's surprising though. Um, I don't know if I'm having the same effect. To me, it feel like cause I got Romeo and Juliet, but to me, it feel like the smoke is overpowering it. Like I like I lose I lose the taste of the 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 whiskey like off rip as soon as I hit the smoke. You cut off like half that cigar. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna clown me about how much I. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Dog. We go 
we gonna go to the Jim Beam, man. So again, I, I'm pretty sure Jim Beam is a twist off for sure. All right, so pause for the for the, the unscrew. Cap, for the unscrew. Yeah. There, there we go. go. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Though. Hey, I was waiting for that cord to pop. No, I ain't gonna lie. Like, that first time, like that shit was so was disappointing, waiting. wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Like, oh shit, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask y'all this too before we take a sip of this. Um, price wise, man, obviously I see the Four Roses was uh well less than twenty in some places, a little bit over twenty in others. others. <laughs> but um, like, do, is that a like is that a thing for y'all when y'all trying to choose whiskeys or bourbons? Like, if it has a twist off, like is that a turn off? Like, is that something that you even notice? It's kind of a turn. It, it's kind of a turn off for me. Because this is what I just told you. Disappointed, right? Like, when I got a nice bottle of bourbon that I'm looking forward to drinking or whatnot, yeah, I want to hear it pop, you know? I want the bells and whistles. Yeah, (laughs) for sure. Exactly. You know, I couldn't have said it no better. That's exactly it. So it's disappointing. You feel the same way? Yes, I do. Yeah, so it's a twist off. It's it's kind of like uh it's kind of like the twist off on wine though, right? It's like or box wine. Or no, it ain't yeah. quite box wine. Bo- yeah, box but, wine. Yeah, but a twist off maybe. But yeah, yeah, if you got wine and, and it's like you expect to take a cork out that boy, mm-hmm. so yeah, when there ain't no cork, and I get. But I was told way. by one guy who was helping me buy a bottle of wine for one Christmas mm-hmm. that don't get turned off by wine that's got a twist top. Okay. I couldn't do it though. Yeah, <laughs> it's my own snobbishness. I wouldn't let me right. for sure. Uh, not feel a certain way like I bought the cheap crap. Right. You know, if it's got a twist top because I mean, somebody didn't take some time to spend some extra money. I don't right. know. I ain't had Hennessy. Did Hennessy got a court or did it got a twist off? Court. Got a court? Right. Does it? I think. Yes. I can't that remember. That has been so long. I can't even remember. I'm not even, I'm not even yeah. stuck because I drunk a lot I think, of Hennessy. I think it does have a court. Yeah, yeah, in the fifth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Damn, I, I ain't even tried to stud. I just ain't yeah, had it a long yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. And then, yeah, definitely. Yeah, do yeah, do got a court. I think Remy got a twist off, probably. I don't even know. Because I never really drank Remy like that, for real. Anyway. But um, before we get to the uh, Jim Beam, too, I just want to um, say this about uh, about the wine. Because we was kind of talking about that. And I can't remember the, the name of the wine. But uh, I had some. And it was... <laughs> I, I got to see what this expression is about. But uh, it's, it's, it's red wine aged in whiskey uh, cask and shit, mm. right? And I can't remember the name brand it was. I know it was a few red wines that do it. But, like, the shit was delicious, though. Like, mm-hmm. it, it tastes like bourbon. Like, you know what I'm saying? It tastes like bourbon. It was just red wine. So it was cool. Just go buy some bourbon then. All right. Well, just like you got a lot of your bourbons that aged in some sherry casks. <laughs> yeah. So, like, your Angel's right. Envy, uh, your Woodenville's. Uh, I Le- saw Angel's Envy. Legion. Angel's Envy, by the way. Yeah. That's- yeah. I love they, Angels Envy. I was going to yeah. ask. We should, we should do a show on that one. Rabbit Hole, they all put their uh, bourbons in sherry cast. And mm-hmm. they, they experiment with some different mm-hmm. things. Yeah. How they finish off their bourbon. So they just doing the same thing that the wine was doing. Just vice versa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The face. You got to explain what the what that, what that <laughs> face was. I couldn't smell anything. Yeah. I'm sitting here trying to sniff this, Evan, um, this Jim Bean. Uh-huh. I can't get anything. So somebody help me out. If you all find something on the nose. It's spicy know. on the nose. I mean, you damn near got to put your whole face in there, but... I, I'm, about, I'm about to just start licking it up because I got my whole face in the glass. It's spicy. On the nose. Typically, any bourbon that's used, like, in a shot or something like that, typically, I don't want it. Yeah. So, and this I think one it's one. Three Wise Men. I think this is... I think it's Jim... It's Jim, um, Jack, and Johnny, I think. So... Three Jim Bean, Jack Daniels, and uh, uh, Johnny, Walker. Johnny Walker. Yeah, I think that's three wise men. Okay. So if, if it was a whiskey that's in a, a shot. Typically, I don't want it. You don't want it. I kind of hate on Beam anyway. I ain't gonna lie. You do. You do. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I had to. I had to double oak Jim Bean the other day, and it was terrible. Like it was wow. absolutely. I've never been a fan. Now, now we was talking to uh, we was talking to Five O <laughs> the other day, and Five O said that uh, he loved that shit. I don't like it. I, I didn't like it. But then again, it's like I think that. I get to the point too. Again, I mentioned the show. I, I mentioned this on every show. I got a softer palate, dog. I think that anything with a with a with a sweeter beginning, even if it's spicy at the end or uh, got the char barrel taste at the end, as long as it's got at least some vanilla or cocoa at the beginning, like I'm with it. And that double oak was definitely all wood. It said double oak, so I should have took their word for it. It was double oak, all wood. Dry as hell. <laughs> Dry, right, dog. No, for real, it was it was bad. You can't you still don't smell I, it? I don't smell anything and I smell some spices. I'm tasting this and I, I'm I'm I don't taste anything. It tastes like liquor to me. That's what it tastes it, like. It, 
It's just some no, alcohol. It, wow, he said this it is, tastes like liquor. This is definitely something that the bar would throw into your drink to say yeah. they gave you so, uh, a mixed drink. Yeah. This is not <laughs> something that I, I I don't think I'll ever. Ever. All right, so. Again, I, I, I'm seriously, c- comparing it to the Evan Williams, I'm seriously turned off by the Jim Beam because yep. it doesn't stack Absolutely. up to hey, any flavor. It's like, it's, like, it's like unseasoned meat. <laughs> Damn. No, am I lying? Do you see what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Like, so you get something that got obvious flavor, and then you get something that don't. So I feel like I'm chewing on you. Know, you feel me? Feel Unseasoned like, meat, bro. Like, oh, 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 yeah. oh, he's a celery. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, what you got? Sorry, liquor. And, uh, the, <laughs> what you got? Liquor. Now, the Jim Beam man is here right now. Other, the they have other products that I like. I'm going to tell you the one the that's fire. The basil. The fire, though. Fucking uh, devil's cut. Fire. That was going to be good. No, nah, because it's fire. Like, you were about to say basil, basil Hayden. Mm-hmm. I was about to tell you. I like Basil Hayden. People first, say it's too sweet. This is only the second whiskey I can actually say I do not like. And the first one was Basil Hayden. And you said <laughs> it was you that told me. You said it was too sweet. It was. It tastes like I was drinking a Kool Aid from a diabetic. It's not. It's not somebody that was sweet. Somebody on a diabetic shock. I just couldn't do it. So, and of course, again, me with Basil the soft Hayden palate. Not mine. So Jim, Bean, <laughs> I enjoy White it. Label, Damn. Nah, I'm out. I enjoy that, dog. Right, I gotta check it out. So, Jim Bean, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. Again, um, is it? It could be a beginner's joint. It could be a, a intermediate between cognac and whiskey, only because, as I mentioned before, we got on camera. I was drinking a lot of cognac, and I was just drinking it like I, I wasn't caring about the flavor. Um, at this point, I actually do care about the flavor. So, something like this, um, it, it is kind of it's kind of bland, almost like it doesn't. It just tastes like alcohol. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, seasoned meat. So, yeah. <laughs> and, at least they didn't so, mention the stone yeah, that. Yeah. I, I know we don't handle Basil Hayden's here, right? Yeah. But I want to go back to that real quick. Like, because Bean makes Basil, Hay- Basil Hayden's, right? So, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. So, to me, you know, it, it kind of makes sense, right? Like That's why you all like that. I like Basil Hayden, though. I'm not a big fan. Yeah, I like it. And, and, and plus the markup too. You can pay yeah. what about 40, 45 bucks for a bottle of Basil mm-hmm. Hayden. So I pay forty five bucks to gave the bottle away. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, I re- I re- right? I received it I as a it. as a gift and shit. Thank you for that for that gift. You know who you are. But uh <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the Oh, I know, I know what up though. <laughs> What's going on in Charlotte? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be like <laughs> No, nah, shout out though. Uh May May bought me a bottle of basil uh, basil hate and shit, and uh, it was I liked it. Like I said, I, I, I liked it. Again, it's it's because of my palate, man. I do like the uh, I like this this kind of you know sweeter palate. Uh, it didn't. I can't even remember how it finished because it's been a, it's been a little while. But um, I I enjoyed it. But knowing that it's from Jim Beam, you know, I'm actually absolutely surprised. Uh, when I did do uh, Jim Beam ori- originally, like I said, I think uh, one of my partners was drinking it. And I, what I do realize about Jim Beam, it is one of those ones where uh, when I was in Colorado, I remember I was low on a couple of dollars and this was the cheapest thing. So I did I did cop it purely off the price. So I got I to I, I, I agree with you right there. Right? So, so yeah. your, your budget is your budget. You know what I mean? If you can't afford a $30 or $40 bottle, then... But I'm not gonna recommend the Jim the Jim no, Williams. But go with the Evan Williams. Yeah, if you go to Evan Williams, for sure, get the Evan yeah. Williams for sure. Yeah. So that's where we at right now. So right now, Jim B was definitely a, a no go. Uh, if you got the choice between the two, we going with Evan Williams. But now we got the uh, the last one we go go to, uh, which is the uh, Four Rose, and we probably should have yeah, pulled the plastic off that one. Oh <laughs> yeah, we should. But you know. so if you've been uh, checking out the uh, Beers Bourbon Whiskey podcast uh, in the first season, we did uh, single barrel. Mm-hmm. Uh, four roses. And mm-hmm. we're this one actually has a cork. So has a cork with a cork. Yeah. Hey, look, that's, that's where the extra three dollars came from. Look at cork. Now off rip, I can tell you this. Um, it is it is considerably lighter than the others. And what what does uh what does the the color or like the 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 darkness of the color? That's what have to do with like the age or the taste in a bourbon or whiskey. I know, I know, both of y'all know this question. Yeah, so right? Usually, you're dealing with how long the juice was in the barrel mm-hmm. and how long it was uh, it was aged. Mm-hmm. Now, most of these are going to be blends. Mm-hmm. They took several barrels, Put them blended in. them together to get the right consistency mm-hmm. and taste that they want. Yeah, but uh, just because something's a little darker doesn't mean it's better. Right, gotcha. So a lot of people get fooled by that, thinking, "Oh, it's dark. It's been aged a uh, hundred years." Okay, mm-hmm. nah, not necessarily. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the older <laughs> one of your bourbons gets, the more wood you're gonna taste. Mm-hmm. 
Um, if you're in that two yeah, to eight range, range you're going to start getting all that flavor explosion. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And you can tell the different flavors. But once you get to that 12 to 15, yeah. you got to expect to taste that wood, yeah. that char. All that's going to be in there. Yeah. And that's what you got to look for. So darkness on a bottle doesn't necessarily mean the great taste. Right. Gotcha. Especially gotcha. when Because it's all subjective. It's what you like. I can't add shit to that. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know? I just figured, I figured I had to ask because... Uh, obviously, I'm the whiskey convert, so I'm the novice in this. And perfect I, perfect and example, Bro mm-hmm. Brothers, right? Oh, hella light like skin. Yeah. Hella light like skin. But that's like Good some of the hell. best bourbon I've had. <laughs> Red, you know? what? Yeah. Oh, what's, what's the name guy? of it? Bro Brothers. Bro Brothers. About, uh, three three uh, uh, black brothers on it. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. on, a, on a distillery. It's and, hard uh, to find. I don't think we. I don't think Michigan has it yet. You no. know, it's... It's a, it's a, a, you know what, to try to find a bottle, yeah. <laughs> you know. I so, had to, I had to bring something back from Tennessee. Let me Tennessee. ask you this, when, when there are uh, liquors like that that you, you can't get in your state, do you guys order and have it delivered? You can order them and have them delivered, but I ain't gonna lie to you, like, uh, the places that do deliver, they be taxing. Like, it's almost like, you damn gotta make trips. Like, you damn gotta make trips for real. And, got, and like, when you, when you go down south, like Kentucky, Tennessee, mm-hmm. it, even some parts of Georgia, like, I suggest you, you pick up bottles then. Yeah. Cause it, it'll, it'll end up being cheaper than trying to send it to you. But, but you can. There's places that send yeah, it to you. Yeah, it's a couple of different. I mean, yeah, yeah you know, you, you can go in and order it, you know, online for one of these, these liquor, you know, re- resellers or whatnot. Um, you get it on the secondary market if you can find it. It's going to be a hell of a markup then, though. So, like, if it's sure. a $30 Big bottle, time. it's probably going to cost you 50 or 60 bucks at least, right? Yeah. Plus shipping. Um, the way I get it, I've got a good friend of mine. Shout out to Jasmine. What up, though? Uh, a good friend of mine in, in Louisville who, who who sends it to me, you know, so. Right. Yeah. In Louisville? They, yeah, in Louisville. <laughs> Hey, shout out to the uh, shout out to Jason. What was the name of that joint in uh, Louisville? Uh, the oh, they had the Black Lives Matter sign outside. Oh, they no. didn't want that shit be uh, uh, a trash. First of all, I forgot all about that. So it certainly had a Black Lives Matter flag outside, but it was definitely a white establishment. I'm just saying. I get it though. You know what I'm saying? Excellent marketing. Excellent marketing, mm-hmm. though. I am impressed they got my business. Hey. But low key, I was thinking about the strip club. Though. What was that? Strip oh, uh, the horse on it. What was it? Thoroughbred uh, Lounge. Thoroughbred, yes. Thoroughbred Lounge. What was the other one, though? Uh, exclusive. Exclusive, yeah. And the only reason I remember exclusive because it was like $1,000 like to even look at the door to entry. Hey, homeboy, you guys on the table? How much? Two fifty? No, I can Duh, stand, bro. I can stand. I can stand. Okay. Now don't get me wrong. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's for another show. So anyway, yeah, yeah, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's get back to the bourbon. Yeah, let's get back, get back to the bourbon. <laughs> you over here talking about strip clubs? Right. <laughs> Way off show. The beers, bourbons, and half naked bitches right. walking around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody loves BBW. <laughs> God. Dog. All right, let's see what we got here. Hmm. All right, immediately I smell something. Go for it. You smell something on here. So I got the vanilla, got your classic cherry nose. I get. You, I even get a little bit of char on this. Mm-hmm. Just slight. Mm-hmm. Just on the. Just on the. Uh, butter. Butter. You trip. So butter. Ma- something of butter or cream. Just, just cream, on, maybe. Yeah. Right, yeah. Just on the nose, yeah. you got that. Something yeah. feels soft. I like that. Yeah. yeah. You, you hold on. You got that right off the nose, though. Yeah. Go ahead. So you say you you love that. Huh? Speak on it, bro. I mean, you like that? I'm, you know, I'm not a connoisseur like you guys. I don't <laughs> Me have neither. Go for it. Yeah. But I will say that of the three, sorry, Evan. So this is your choice. <laughs> I like. And Evan Will, you was a you was a favorite I, of Evan Will. Yeah, that was my go-to. Like that's the one. Evan, I think I've Evan Will is a good bourbon. But don't get me wrong. But mm. for this price range, yeah. Four Roses is me. Okay. Now, and having never, I've never tasted this before. Oh, you mm. never had the yellow label I've before? I've never had really? the yellow label before. I mean, yeah. All I had was a. Uh, the one we have is, is great. I think it slightly beats out Evan Williams, but they right, they neck and neck. Yeah, they neck and neck. Nose. I haven't tasted it yet. Definitely, think, so definitely Jim Bay and chilling at the, the end. The only, I think I give the Four Rivers a slight edge because I don't like super sweet bourbons. And I'm not saying Evan Williams is super sweet, but it's a little bit sweeter than what I'm used to. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I think it's right on par. Yeah. You know? I'm damn impressed. Yeah. yeah. This is very good. It's got to be. And I don't know if it's the cigar that I'm smoking, but it's got to be some smokiness in it too, though, yeah. because it's yeah. matching. It's matching with this with yes. this cigar. It's not an offset, but it's going with it. You know what I'm saying? If you so, guys want a treat, though, like you got an extra forty, forty five bucks, mm-hmm. go get you the single barrel. Four rows of single barrel. Fire. It's, it's stronger. It's gonna be. It's about what Fire. Was it, like one on one proof. I think it is. Bro, we did that on season oh, man. season one. So of, good. Uh, so good. Beers, bourbon, whiskey. So make man. sure if you watch it right now, go back to season one where we did a review on the single barrel. Four roses. 
fire. Mm-hmm. But now, if you doing, fire. if you thinking about Evan Williams single barrel, go, mm-hmm. if you especially if you're a member of Costco, go pick it up. Mm-hmm. It is it is an excellent product. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really really single barrel like, Evan, Evan Williams yeah, single barrel Evan Williams. Gotcha. It's great. It's great. He says it's great. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. yeah really. I like that. Thing is twenty nine bucks. They got a hundred proof one. Uh-huh. Williams that I, I, I like. Yeah. yeah. Man. Okay. So. Good. All right. So this is my this is my take on this. Uh, only because I, I've had the uh, the single single barrel before. Uh, obviously the single barrel. Uh, I think it is obviously the proof is higher, so it's a little stronger. Uh, the the taste on this I like better with the cigar. Only because I do like the the sweet offset uh, <laughs> of the Evan Williams, but this actually is very complimentary to mm-hmm. the cigar. Um, this is a little bit tougher one for me though because I think that if I got a cigar, I'm going with the Four Roses. If I'm drinking solo, I'm going with the Evan Williams. I think it's a split if for you me. Had a hard week. <laughs> <laughs> Not even just a hard week, but it's just like I think I, I'm cool with just by itself. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Four Roses, I think it goes good. With the cigar, and see, I think I'm a. I'm totally. See, opposite. I'm the opposite. I'm opposite. Exactly. I'm the opposite too. Yeah, Evan yeah. Williams is better with a cigar. Four Roses is better by itself. Uh, and y'all, Beam, sorry. Oh yeah, we not <laughs> even. We didn't even mention yeah, Jimmy, yeah. right? <laughs> now is that? Are y'all saying that because because of the the sweet smoke offset? And see, so I'm saying that, yeah. I'm saying it because of the the smoke and smoke relationship. Relationship. I, like, I like how they go together. The fact, yeah. the fact that the Evan Williams brought something out of my something cigar. That you know well, normally. Okay, That's I got you. Okay. That and makes so sense. There is a difference with the cigars that they're smoking, the flavor of their cigars and ours. I got yeah. the same one that you got. Okay. So it's this is a more mild cigar. Yeah. So maybe that... That, 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 that could, could be it. That yeah. could be it too, though. You're right. That is, I hadn't even thought about it. This is a strong though. fucking cigar I'm smoking. It so, yeah. certainly yeah. is. I already know. Yeah, <laughs> See, not, this, this I'm, is, this I'm is smoke. I'm putting on the cigar too, so. <laughs> 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 All right, so look, it looks like uh, we went through everything, dog. Just to, uh, just to recap, uh, me, the whiskey novice, I did bring along the, the Jim Beam that it seems like we should, probably should have left on the shelf. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, that's what this is for, though. You know? Yeah. When, when we're doing this, you're going to come across bourbons and whiskeys that you don't like. I mean, For sure. And, and that's cool. Yeah. You know, uh, that doesn't mean, you know, somebody else is not. You know, again, our palates are different. You know, you like sweeter stuff. I like less sweet stuff. Anger Principles like, like less sweet stuff as well. You yeah, mean, for sure. That doesn't mean that I'm wrong or you're wrong or oh, yeah, he's no wrong. No. Or, it's just and, what that, you like. and that's the thing. That's why anybody that's watching right now, uh, we are making uh, assumptions on our own palates. Uh, be sure to go check out Jim Bean for yourself if you haven't. Um, of the three, though, I think we are all in agreement that Jim Bean is on the on the the, the lower end of all three of these. Uh, so I brought that, of course, the whiskey schnapp. Brought the uh, four roses. And uh, the uh, proof hunter, of course, brought to Evan Williams. I think that's probably because it's the one with the higher proof. So, <laughs> actually, it was only based on price. Okay, it was only it was based, based on, price. on price. It just so happened to it be just higher, so proof. Happened to have higher proof. I didn't even know the it universe just worked that out. Somehow. Right, the yeah. universe worked that and out. The universe works out pretty well usually. So, you know. <laughs> still love sure. you, Evan Williams. You still my people. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm, I mess around with it. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, messing around with Evan Williams yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If okay. anything, this one took me back to the Evan Williams. Like, okay, yeah, I got to start messing with that. Let me get back yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but it let me know that Jim Beam. I love their products, just not the white label. Yeah, that's it. I, like I said, if you go on to Jim Beam, like I said, the only one that I've had a, 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 a great like experience with was the Devil's Cut, and I think Angry Principal brought that to me. I got to add this though. I will say this about Jim Beam. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was the first time I went went to Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I went to Louisville, right? Um, I, I did the distillery tour of uh, uh, um, Jim Beam, mm-hmm. and I will say, Jim Beam, they own their customer service. Like, yeah. man, yeah. like they they just catered to us. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so, so from that standpoint, I was kind of impressed. But like the actual product itself, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just like if I had to pick out of these three, it would be like you said, I'd be on the lower end. Right. For sure. So It'd be number three. This is what everybody needs to do. Look, drinking is subjective. You like what you like. Exactly. Right. But right. if you don't agree with us, try this yourself. Mm-hmm. Go through all three, comment, let us know what you think. For sure. And then uh, we can kind of compare and see what your paddle, paddle yeah. is like. For and sure. I'll tell you why you're wrong. 
<laughs> Why did I know he was going to say that? I'm joking. I'm so if you look, if you look down below in the uh, description, you will see links to uh, all three of the drinks that we talked about today. You can go to those links. And you can order your own bottle, or you can just read up on it. So make sure you do that. Also, in the uh, description, you'll see our Patreon link, which will allow you to click that and uh, actually support us on a month-to-month -month basis. So that'd be dope as well. Get that behind the scenes. For content. sure, get that behind, behind the scenes content. And also, uh, E Block Radio does have a cash app, so you can actually uh, click on E Block Radio. Radio, that's our cash tag and then donate uh, to our cause so we can continue to you know bring you the uh, you know the uh, the content that you enjoy or send us some bottles or send, send us some, some bottles, bottles for sure and again uh, shout out to uh, Uncle Nearest uh, who is not our sponsor but we just love that shit dog <laughs> <laughs> alright we gonna get up out of here man oh wait but, a minute uh, shout out to my cuz for buying Uncle Nearest for me oh for sure, <laughs> for sure. so he, he's about to understand Uncle Nears, and, and just to give you a, a back note on Uncle Nears, Angry Principal is the first one who mentioned it to me because he got it from Georgia, I think, right? right? Uh, he got it from Georgia. He told me, because I went to, I think when we went to a Big Win wedding, mm -hmm. he was like, dog, see if you can find some because I had never had it. Then. Oh, I remember you said, yeah, they yeah. weren't selling it up here at the time. They weren't selling it up here at right. the time. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like, once I got hip to it and I had it, I was like, dog, it's the best. Best thing you could have came up with, dog. For real, for real. And it's black on, so you, you gotta love that. And you it's black on. All right, so we gonna get out of here, man. We didn't taste everything, but if you are subscribed to uh, our Patreon, then you get to see this uh, behind the scenes footage that we getting ready to film right now. But if you don't have our Patreon, then you won't be able to see it, and that's okay. <laughs> but once you sign up, you'll be able to see it. We gonna go around one last time, man, to uh, to the whiskey snob, <clears throat> the proof hunter. And our guest, the motherfucking show deacon. And we right, just going to see uh, what's on everybody's mind before we get up out of here, man. So, uh, Bo, I'm going to start with you, though. We on our way out, man. What you want to lead the people with? What I want to lead the people with, um, I'm, gonna just, I'm just straight bourbon for right now. Hey, um, I, had a, I had a discussion. Except for right now. <laughs> <laughs> I had a discussion with, with, with a, uh, a friend, friend of mine that uh, is also in the bourbon. And uh, we were just kind of talking about, like, uh, the type, I guess, like, the demographics, you know, the type of people that drink bourbon and all that type yeah. of stuff, right? And I know it's known as, like, the old white man drink, yeah. you know, or it used to be known as that. I think it's kind of breaking away from that now, right? A little bit. Yeah. I hope so, anyway. But um, I just want to say this, like, first of all, drink what you like, all right? Second of all, don't just... Be so close-minded that, uh, and and this goes beyond obviously liquor. Don't be so close-minded that something that could actually like benefit you or whatnot, or something that you actually enjoy, or that you might enjoy. Like you know, you just 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 broaden your horizons a little bit. You know, step out the box, step out your comfort zone, try some different things, and uh, just see what you like. It, you know? Sure. So, thinking what you say, man. You next in line. Well, I'll say this: if you don't know about whiskeys. This is an episode and the following episodes after this. Stay tuned into this show so that you can learn more about. Just like for me, I don't know much about whiskeys, but talking with these gentlemen, I'm learning more. For sure. That's all love. That's what's up, man. Proof Hunter. She got to say, bro. Do me a favor. Hold your glass up, Q. Oh, yeah. Shout out to P4 Custom for, for sure. the custom okay. job they did on the glass. No doubt. Uh, not only did he do Q's, he did mine, a couple of my friends. Uh, the great little uh, black owned company. Uh, nice. Everybody has to be on their side hustle. So P4 Customs. P4 Customs, go okay. and support them. You'll see the link in the description company. as well. Great company to deal with. Excellent, excellent customer service. So please uh, check them out. For Aside sure. from that, drink what you like, when you like, and have fun doing it. Oh, sure. shit, brother. <laughs> no, that's what's up, dog. On that note, man, we're going to end it off. Uh, I think we, we all are kind of in agreement. Other than the uh, Four Roses and the Evan Williams about how it goes with a cigar, I like it a little different. One without, which is the Evan Williams, and then the Four Roses I like with the uh, cigar. Uh, so, like I said, to each his own. But definitely, I hope that we've uh, shed some light on you. If you have uh, if you ever went to the liquor store and had $22, because you got to pay taxes, <laughs> if you had $22 and you want to get a good bottle of uh, whiskey, then either one of these would be great. Uh, the Jim Bean for us was on the lower end, but you can always, you know, check it out and see what you think. And if you had these and you don't agree, or even if you do agree, 
uh, with uh, you know what we said. Just uh, drop it into the comment box, man. We do uh, actually listen to the comments, and when when this airs, uh, actually it'll be uh, airing on Wednesday. Uh, we do we do live commentary, so if you comment right then, uh, we'll be there to respond like right on the spot. So that's gonna be cool. Uh, we getting ready to get off into our for real conversation though, so we gonna finish drinking and y'all go peace out, man. So to the next time, man. You always remember. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beers, bourbon, and whiskey, man. It's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. I got my man Bo in the building. I say. I got my man Soul Deacon in the building. Yeah. Angry Principal holding it down. Drink responsibly. <laughs> and uh, as our people over at uh, <laughs> Uncle Nears would say, drink honorably. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. I'm back.